This is going to be a little demo on how to start, how to install Michael Brehams mod to get the uh, silicon dust uh, DVR onto these uh, Android boxes, these in inexpensive boxes running uh, Libre EXC. So anyway, I'll show you what it what it is and what it does. So, all right. Oh, here's a guide. This is what it looks like. Traditional grid guide. The old Excel spreadsheet guide. And recordings. Sporting events, football, some of them I have not erased yet because some of them I haven't finished watching yet. So I'll delete those soon so they get uh, done watching them. And I'm using the stock remote that come, to this, come with this $40 box that I bought a couple years ago. Now this is an Amlogic S905, they don't make them anymore. Uh, but this one's got gigabit ethernet and only you only need gigabit ethernet if you're going to use it as a server, which I was using quite a while for a TV head in uh, DVR server, so that helped. <clears throat> but I could delete it if I wanted to delete it right now, I can delete it there, but that's what I want to show you. But anyway, this is what uh, Michael Brim's um, mod looks like. And this is my timer, so this is the one scheduled to record the different shows that I've got scheduled. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, now, in order to install this, we go to add-ons, and we have to install it from a zip file. Now, we go to install from zip file. Now, I've already went to my computer and downloaded it from the uh, HD Home Run Forum website using Michael Beam's uh, uh, thread and uh, downloaded the correct one I needed. So, I put it into the, a uh, couple ways I could do it, I, this one I put into my um, uh, NAS, and I've got two particular NASs, that one, that's my new one, and this is my um, Western Digital NAS, and I just created a folder. Okay, that's it right there, that's the one which I've already got it installed, but let's see what happens when I click it, I failed to install that on because it's already installed but anyway it's already installed so that's how you do it you, you go to his website download, download the one you want and perhaps that was not the right one but anyway that you just download the one you want uh, go to install zip file and also put it in my download folder which pops up on my uh, computer as a network places so it's easy to uh, get to, or you can put it on a micro SD card, or you can put it on a USB thumb drive, stick it into the box, and get it that way. So there's numerous ways that you can get the zip file. Uh, these are different uh, scripts that I use to put different things on here. Again, I use this box, this little 40 box, another box. I use it as an MB server. I use it as a TV head-end server. And I was running... Um, Plex server on it too, but I don't think Plex worked very well, so it still may be on there. But anyway, this little $40 box does all kinds of neat stuff. So anyway, that's what I want to show you. Um, uh, okay, I'll go ahead and show you on the uh, uh, computer where to go to and download that. But again, this is, um, this is Libre running on a $40 box. The system, network, connections, services, Bluetooth. Bluetooth does not work very well. Now this is version 8.18, architecture S905 ARM. It's an ARM device. So this is a Libre box that I'm running it on. So 
Anyway, that's what I'll show you, and uh, I will show you on the computer how it's done. So, bear with me. Thank you. Okay, this is the box that I have it installed on right now. This one is running my Libra ELX8. So this is my main media uh, player for this TV. Uh, here is the stock remote that I was using. So this whole thing cost actually less than $40 a couple years ago. My newest box, that one, this is a S905X. Now this one gives you Netflix in uh, 1080p. And I also bought this one here. Now this is the M-Logic S912, which is uh, more powerful than this box. I bought those at the same time. I don't know why. But anyway, I got too many boxes. But <laughs> that's what I installed it on. Uh, one of these days I'll put Libri on this box, perhaps. But anyway, I dual boot them. So anyway, I'll show you how to install it. Okay, I am at my desktop computer. Go to the HD Home Run Silicon Dust Forum. Go here. And go to Cody Community Development. Click on that. And Unofficial PVR. Click on number one. Go down to Download Page. Click on that. Now, Manual install for Kodi Android. Now the one I've got is actually an Arch 64. So I tried that one. That one didn't work. Obviously I don't have an 86. I tried that one. That one didn't work. So I believe this is the one here. So I just click on that. I download it. Okay, it's downloaded. I download file. Close that out. But you may have to try two or three different versions to find the one that works for your box. So you open up that one, go to Downloads, and here it is right here. I actually two copies, so I copy that, I'll cut it. Now I come to, I got different ways. Okay, now here is the box itself. Now that is my uh, box. Well, I could just put it in Downloads or whatever folder I wanted to. Just put it in there, copy it, paste it. Replace, okay. That's all there is to it. And then you go back up where I showed you to do it, just go there and install it. Or sometimes I might just go ahead and install it on my uh, Western Digital uh, NAS. And I created a temporary folder that I put temporary files in. So anyway, that's, that's all there is to it. Very easy to install. 